Hi YouTube and Blade Forms, John here. Today I'm here to do a demonstration in response to a, a thread in the Blade Forms about sharpening uh, CPM powder metal steels such as 20CV and M390. Uh, many people on there are saying that you need diamonds to sharpen that steel, and I'm saying that you don't. Um, I have a diamond uh, sharpener here, but I really have, rarely ever use it, and I'll go over that in the end. But my sharpening procedure consists of doing free-handed on ceramics. So I'll just get right to the demonstration here, okay? This is my Benchmade 940-1, but this is actually 20 CV steel on here, okay? And here's a paper towel. Do you see that? Do you see how easily that cut through there? Okay, that is sharpening. For this particular one, I sharpened it freehand on this rod here using the flats, okay? That took me about mm, two, maybe three minutes, okay? And then I proceeded to do about eight passes on each side with this loaded strop. The strop was loaded in the green compound that I picked up from a local hardware store, just really cheap. And this strop I made it from home just with the plank of wood that I cut up and I uh, used some contact cement to bond the leather strip onto there. I bought the leather strip for $7 and it has like four lengths of these and I bought this plank of wood for I think four or five dollars. Okay, so now for the Benchmade Valet. Okay, M390 still on this one. Again, you can see how easily it's cutting through this paper towel. Okay, so this is by doing freehand and with the stones. On this one though, I didn't stop at the medium, okay? On this one, I went to the medium and then I went to the fine, and then I did a few passes on each side with the loaded strop, okay? So now here is the all important phone book paper test. Don't mind me messing up on the paper. This knife is super sharp. Okay. Now here is the 20 CV. Take a listen. Okay. M390. Hmm. This knife is just a little harder to cut with because it's kind of small and hard to grip. But as you can see, it's razor sharp. Those errors are on my part, not the, not the knife's sharpness. But you can see these both cut through there very, very easily. Um, the burr is completely gone on these. Uh, the hairs, they just pop off right off the arm. Um, it's just an incredible sharpness. In fact, this 20CV I'm really liking a lot. Um, I've been able to get this sharper than any other CPM steel I've used to this date. Um, the only knife I've had sharper than this so far has been the Kershaw Leak. Um, but that obviously is due to how thin of a grind that, that knife has. Okay, so now I've demonstrated that these knives cut and they are razor sharp. And that, like I said, 20CV sharpened with only the brown ceramic Spyderco rod and then doing a few passes on each side with a loaded strop. Okay, and those are light, very light passes. Just to make sure all the burr is gone. Okay, when I sharpen on this stone here, I just set it up against my leg and I just go back and forth on the flats, okay? And I like to have a nice sliding motion on there. I feel like it does a better job that way. Okay, I also use this uh, an equal amount of time. I'll hold it just like this and go back and forth. Same on the other side if I choose to do the white stone, okay? And then you can put this back in when you're done and then you can use this as a basic strop, okay? And it really does make a difference, okay? Um, I rarely, if ever, use these in the actual sharp maker jig anymore, but I do sometimes when I'm getting frustrated with sharpening. And then this is my regular Spyderco bench stone, the first one I got. And this one, I'll use it on certain knives. I won't use it on this one because of the slight unintentional recurves that these 940s have. Because of that slight unintentional recurve, that's why I choose to use these Spyderco rods, because I'm able to get into that slight recurve there is. Um, but I will use this stone to actually sharpen my M390 on here and my Delicas and my Native 5 that I used to own. Um, only rarely do I ever use the Diamond Stone, okay? This is the DMT uh, Fine Stone, 600 grit red. Um, the only time I use this is if my knife is very, very dull. Um, then I'll use this just to get it sharp enough, then I'll go to the ceramics. Um, I don't like using the Diamond Stone because they cut really deep. They leave really deep um, lines in the steel that take longer to clean up. And if you make a mistake on your angle, it's going to go a lot deeper into the steel and it's going to do a lot more damage than if you make a misswipe with the ceramics. 
So mistakes are more costly when you're doing it on diamond. Um, that's not to say that diamonds don't have practical purposes, okay? Um, but I've sharpened all my knives on ceramics, on Spyderco ceramics, in fact. And the only knife that I've so far had problems with was this one when it had the S90V steel in it. Um, this one I found very difficult to get a sharp edge. I just, I could get it sharp where it would shave the arm hair, but I just couldn't get it to that next level where it would pop the arm hair and cut really super clean through here like the way you saw. Um, I just felt like I just was getting to the edge and I couldn't get any farther. And that, maybe that has to do with those carbides that people are talking about. But I haven't had that issue with any of the other knives up to M390, okay? Um, so, on this one, I found that when I do go to the diamond though, I am able to get it just a slight bit sharper. But I have to say that on the ceramics, it's already very sharp to begin with. Like I said, very easily shaving arm hairs, okay? Um, now, in regards to people saying that this will damage your sharp maker stones, I, I can confirm that. The S90V has actually damaged the corners of my brown spider coast stones. But it has done no damage to the white ones. The white ones seem to be immune to the damages. Immune to be, they seem to be immune to being worn down by the S90V, at least so far. And I've had this for about two years now. Um, but the brown rods were worn out within probably, I'd say the first nine to 12 months that I owned these. So there's something about the medium one that doesn't work too well with the S90 and does wear down. So of all my knives, I'm just rambling on here, but of all my knives, the S90V is the only one where I would say that maybe the ceramics won't be ideal, okay? But with ceramics, I was able to get this to that razor fine edge that you see. I was able to do that in about two minutes on the, the brown stone, okay? And then on this one, I sharpened this from being dull enough that it wouldn't shave my arm hair. And that took me about two to two and a half minutes to get it to shaving arm hair again, like clean on both sides. And then another couple, another few minutes to get it really hair popping sharp where I could go on my skin with less than the weight of the knife and the hairs would just jump off the arm, okay? And on this one, I did medium, followed by fine, and then followed by a few passes on the loaded strop, okay? So that was my video to demonstrate sharpness, okay? You saw me chopping through the paper with the M390 on the valet, but that was just me, okay? Because um, as you can see, the knife goes to really sharp and you can listen as well. Okay, so that's that one, and the 20 CV. All right, so I don't think anyone would say that these knives are not sharp, okay? So, in conclusion, 20 CV can be sharpened on ceramics. So can S35, S30, VG10, 14C28, uh, and even S90V. But S90V uh, that I used to have on this knife does pose some difficulties with the ceramics, okay? So that's it. Thank you guys, bye.